Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome uh, to this wonderful occasion. A very happy day for Bristol Community College uh, in our Luso Centro and our Portuguese Studies uh, uh, program. Uh, we're very excited about uh, what's been happening uh, in the last few years uh, with the Azores and our uh, trips to the Azores. We had a very profitable uh, experience last uh, winter uh, going to the Azores, talking about exchanges. Uh, since then, we've built on those uh, direct contacts, and we have uh, grants from the uh, Portuguese American Foundation. We have exchanges set up, uh, uh, library activities also. So we're very happy about the, the building up of the relationship, the strong relationship that we have uh, with the Azores. I often like to say that uh, despite the Atlantic Ocean, uh, I always feel that we're contiguous. The United States and they, the Azores are contiguous. Uh, we have such a rich, a rich connection. And uh, building on those rich connections, I want to now introduce, it's my honor to introduce Representative Michael Rodericks, who uh, is just back from a uh, trip uh, to the Azores, a very profitable experience in terms of learning and promoting the cultural exchanges. And uh, Representative Rodericks, I uh, rep uh, was very happy uh, that he was a agreed to represent Bristol Community College uh, during this trip and his negotiations with uh, various Azorian officials, including the public library. So I'd like uh, now to introduce to you Representative Michael Rodericks, who will kind of uh, fill us in on the wonderful experience that he had just recently. Representative Rodericks. Thank you, uh, thank you Jack. <clears throat> thank you. Good morning, everyone. It really was an honor and a pleasure uh, to represent Bristol Community College in, in, in Ponta Delgada in the Azores. It was a tough job, you know, but someone had to do it, and I'm happy it was me. And we had a tremendously successful uh, trip in our discussions and our negotiations with uh, the officials uh, in Ponta Delgada, specifically uh, at the Biblioteca Publica, the public library in Ponta Delgada, which uh, they, and I would like to probably begin by formally presenting President Sprague with the official signed protocol of agreement which establishes a partnership of exchange of learning resources between uh, the public library in Ponte Delgada and, and the Luzo Central here at Bristol Community College. So Jack, there's the official Thank signed you protocol. Thank you. Thank you. They, they on that side, the, um, the officials in Ponte Delgada are very excited about this partnership. Uh, they have a great concern, as we do on this side of the Atlantic, regarding literacy. And um, they are in the process of doing a lot of promotions for literacy, including publishing a number of new children's books uh, that they're looking at help translating those books. So they're bilingual books, and they'll be looking at uh, Bristol Community College's help and support of that. Uh, they've also agreed uh, to provide a portal here at uh, at the Luzo Central, a portal that would allow access to secure documents within their library. It would almost be as though they would have a branch of their library here uh, in Fall River at Bristol Community College. So any students, uh, any adults, anyone interested in doing research on their family's history, uh, on, on the immigration of, of their family, on what town or village they're from, What's happening now, contemporary? What's going on today in Ponte Delgada? You know, what music are they listening to? What books are they reading? What plays and what movies are they interested in? We'll have access to that information. Um, so um, Dr. Coster and, and the folks at, uh, in Ponte Delgada will be uh, working on the details to securing that portal here um, in, in Fall River. They're also very interested and as are we uh, at BCC, interested in establishing a series of exhibits on both sides of the Atlantic so that they can bring with them um, exhibits of artwork, uh, maybe some musical, if there's musicians, um, but arts and culture and literature, uh, bring those exhibits here for display, for observations, for, for viewing um, uh, by uh, Azorian Americans or, or really all Americans and vice versa so that we can bring over to their library examples of literature or art or music uh, that is created by 
uh, Azorian Americans here in, in Fall River. So it's, it was uh, as a result of the trip we, we had almost a year ago, last February, uh, where we laid the foundation. We had a, uh, almost a year of negotiations, and now we've solidified uh, that foundation with, with the reality uh, with this signing uh, of the agreement. I, once again, I could not be more happy uh, to have represented uh, Bristol Community College. We're also going to be, they've, they've, I came back with about 200 pounds of books, um, which I was proud to come back with, that they're donating to the, uh, to the Luzo Central to begin, uh, you know, offering, as we say, you know, offering acceptance and consideration to put their consideration uh, in uh, sealing uh, this agreement between Ponce del Gata and BCC. So I thank you all for being here. Thank you, Michael. My pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. If anyone has any questions, nice and simple. Beautiful. There are also very, let me say that there was a lot of discussion. We met with the new Secretary of Culture, Gabriela Conovilis. Uh, she, was, she was a very interesting woman, uh, born in Mozambique, lived in Stoughton, Massachusetts for a while as a young uh, lady, uh, moved back uh, to Lisbon where she, uh, where she studied, and she's actually a concert pianist. Um, she was very interested in um, contemporary cultural activities so that the young people in in, in Fall River, as I'm looking at the young people out there from Fall River, know, can have relationship discussions, communications, and knowledge about what the young people in Ponce del Gata, what they're reading, what they're listening to, what's important uh, to them. They are very good. Well, it's great. It's great. It's wonderful that, that they're here. Um, I'm very excited about the children's literature. The children, they, they, that was the first thing they asked if they could have help translating the book so that the books are bilingual and I said absolutely so I volunteered you already to do <laughs> as it's, uh, to, 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 to do the work uh, and she was uh, also very interested in a couple projects that are grant funded already by FLAD that BCC uh, is involved with including uh, the a documentary of uh, Azorian immigration post the 74 revolution they're very interested in that project. So when it's completed, maybe we can bring it over there and have, you know, a showing, uh, showing over there. And I just have to go there again. So, <laughs> so thank you all. Thank you, Michael. Yep, Jeff. Thank, thank you. you. I did want to acknowledge uh, uh, members of the Lusso Central uh, Advisory Board here at Bristol Community College. I want to thank you for attending. We have our students and Portuguese uh, language students and culture students, and thank you for coming as well. Uh, as Representative Rodericks mentioned, we went to the Azores last February, uh, and I want to acknowledge the great uh, contribution of uh, uh, Dean Joanne uh, Preston of our division. Jean, Dean Preston, thank you. <clears throat> we are uh, we are standing uh, by the Lusophonia collection of our Bristol Community College Library, and uh, it's very appropriate that we're here. Of course, not only because of the uh, benefits of the uh, Representative Roderick's trip and the uh, li library books that we'll be putting in here into this collection, but also because it's symbolic of the growth of uh, our Luso Centro and our uh, wonderful relationship with the uh, Portuguese speaking communities around the world. Uh, many distinguished visitors have come to BCC uh, as part of their visit to the United States uh, because they have heard so much about the Luso Centro. And I would like to invite up, uh, for just a few words, the creator. This, none of this would have happened without uh, Dr. Jose Costa. Uh, he had the idea. He came to me away years ago now with the idea of creating a, a Luso Centro here at uh, Bristol Community College. And we immediately seized on it. We saw the opportunities that it presented uh, for the community. Uh, and uh, it's, it's blossomed under his leadership in ways that we could never even have imagined. I, I often say I run out of money before he runs out of ideas. He has many uh, designs and plans and dreams that uh, I only wish we could uh, fully support, but we're doing the best we can. So Dr. Costa, I would invite you to uh, come up and say a few words. Well, I only have one word, which is, well, two. Thank you very much. 
uh, definitely this is um, you know dreams uh, coming true not uh, not one but uh, lots of them and uh, I will take this opportunity to uh, definitely to uh, thank you Dr. Spraga thank you um, uh, Dr. Garrett uh, thank you Joanne Joanne he, you know I think that without you without your support you know I couldn't do any anything so I thank you very very much I also would like to thank the members of the board here, my students, definitely, and a special thanks at this time to Representative Mike Rodriguez because you, you've done a great, great job. And I believe, uh, Representative, that this is the first step towards uh, another dream uh, coming through, which is the foundation of a Biblioteca Soriana, an Azorian library. I hope that. And I'm sure okay, that this is going to be, this is the first step. So in one year or two years, with your support, with the college uh, support, with the community support, we can have here a Biblioteca Suriana, an Azorian library. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that's an exciting, uh, exciting plan that uh, uh, Dr. Costa has for that uh, Azorian library. I also want to acknowledge the presence of our Vice President for Academic Affairs, uh, Sarah Garrett. Thank you very much for coming. So it's left for me to thank again. Uh, once again, uh, we can't be uh, uh, too uh, grateful uh, to uh, uh, Representative Rodericks for all the work that he's done, not just on this trip, but he's always been a big supporter of BCC in general, and certainly the, uh, all of our Luso Central activities uh, here at BCC. Uh, as Representative Rodericks uh, asked, if there are any questions, we're glad to uh, answer them, and I thank you all for coming. It's been an exciting day. It's a momentous day in uh, BCC history. Thank you for sharing it with us.